Well, coming to you once again from the 2021 Hershey RV show. And uh, we haven't seen Pleasure Way in a while. As you, as you know, Pleasure Way wasn't, uh, didn't come to the Tampa RV show this year. So I wanted to see what uh, they have. And, uh, and I see that, that you know, they're doing some 4x4 units. And uh, let's, let's go, let's go inside. I don't know if there's like an official entrance, but I'm gonna sneak in through here because, you know, I wanna see this. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. And of course, all of this, you know, it's 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 not even 10 a.m. and the and the show is already kind of. Uh, but I wanted to see this um, 4x4 units right here. It's somewhat minimalist. As, uh, I, I, I like what they're doing, by the way. This is a great fridge. They have the Truma uh, cooler refrigerator. Here we have a, a swivel table with the swivel seats here in the front. And then, of course, it, the, the, a lot of this... Um, adventure-oriented RVs, you know, they realize people want to carry their toys with them. So as you can see, we have some some bars here that I imagine you could, you know, tie things down. And this would become a bed if you want. But they don't have any, any of that wood de decoration or anything like that. It's, it's very sober for the adventure. Or I like this, like, tiny lights. And yeah, this will go down into a bed. You have some storage up here. But this, this will be the, the RV that you take on an, an, on an off-road adventure. And here, and we've seen this approach before, because when you have an RV like this, you, you won't use the bathroom unless it is an emergency. And you do have a shower if you want to. I imagine that the tank capacity will be fairly small too. Here we have a cassette, to oh, is this a cassette toilet or is it a, yeah, this is a cassette toilet right here. And then, uh, but the, 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 the bathroom would double as a closet most of the time. So you have a, a bar here to, to hang your, your, you know, like a coat hanger and, uh, and shelves. So that's what it is. it is. It is very minimalist. But then again, you are on a very short 4x4 Sprinter chassis here. And then, I don't know. Oh, there we go. And uh, okay, here we have, we have everything. It can be controlled from this uh, right here. And I don't know if this would uh, turn into a table or not. It doesn't look like it. Okay, here we have more questions. And of course, all the, all the information about the, you know, weight uh, and the capacity, uh, 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 holding tanks, all that will be on the website. But yeah, this is uh, very similar, but th this one has the bed made as it would look with the, with the bed made up. Let's see a couple more. I see something here on the ProMaster chassis with a pop-up tent. Uh, those seem to be very popular. And uh, you know what I noticed? They're not making the plateau anymore, which actually used to be my favorite. The Plateau was their, their B plus uh, version. Let's see, let's walk into some of this. Let's see this one right here. This is the longer uh, uh, Sprinter chassis here. And let's see if we have some information in here. Here you have a, a desk of sorts and a, and a TV. And you know, it would be really cool if this TV would go up and down or, or it would be adjustable. Because this could be a work area. I could swivel this, uh, the, 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 the captain's chair there and have this like a desk with a second monitor. It would use the TV as a second monitor. I would totally do that. And it does have a, a USB and uh, uh, they all have this, this uh, uh, large, very large screen that controls uh, everything. Pretty good counter space here. By the way, this will, these things have gone up in price. This will set you back $177,000. Today at the RV show, we have a large sink here with an uh, induction cooked up. Now, I would imagine and th th they don't have a whole lot of information here without actually asking a, um, 
uh, they're promoting the Truma Aventa, but we don't have an Aventa here. We have a Dometic, which leads me to believe that maybe they want to put the Aventa in the future. But, um, okay, let's see what they have. Climate control, automatic generator start, that's good. Go power, solar integration, AC power, um, power source. So uh, battery monitoring. So that, that's, that's what that uh, uh, screen does. And um, I mean, I would imagine for that price, you're gonna have some, some advanced technology in this one, but I, I really have, uh, but that by the way, the pleasure way, that's the Plateau FL. Yeah, the, the Plateau Excel is the one that, they're, that, that I haven't seen anymore. So um, this RV is sold. And a couple of years ago, we saw this one, actually probably two years ago here at the Hershey RV Show. This is the own tour, which is on the, on the, on the Ford Transit chassis. And this is kind of like the classic Class B design with a galley here on the, on, the, on, the, on the passenger side. Then you have a sofa that turns into a bed with a removable table. And uh, here we have a refrigerator, a small closet, some, some drawers, microwave down here. And uh, yeah, this is a Norcold, and uh, uh, this is, oh, that, that's a minuscule. L look at the, that's, that's a very small freezer. So this would be pretty minimalist. Let's look at the bathroom. And uh, the bathroom actually is not bad, considering, but yeah, this is something that uh, yeah, even a six foot tall person would fit in here, but this is something that you would use like in an emergency. It does have a porcelain toilet. So, um, and let me ask if, if I were to ask Matt, would this be a prime pooping position? Actually, it's not bad. And you have a mirror here, fairly large for an RV of this size. Yeah, both seats swivel. Yeah, this is the own tour. Of course, there's not a whole lot of information. This one would be $140,000, the own tour 2.0. Okay, this one is at the Tofino. This one is on the on the Promaster chassis. I kind of like the open the open a uh, a floor plan design here. Uh, believe it or not, you can have this. You have this uh, table. You can move whatever you want. This bed will turn. This sofa will turn into a bed. And here you have a lot of counter space, which is good. Let me see what this is here. That's a pretty large storage there for your stuff. This is small-ish sink. Oh, look at that. How tiny uh, in induction. Let me see the refrigerator here, which is. I haven't seen this one before. And this is propane, this is two-way propane and, and, and electricity. We have USB ports here. More storage down here. And then the elephant in the room, we have a pop top. So you can either sleep there or here and, uh, and leave this as a, as a living area. Now, do we have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom in here? Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, Emma. Hello. And uh, let, let's see what it looks like here in the back. And uh, yeah, this is a large uh, area here. I, I see we have a, a hose, which would be connected here. So you could probably turn this into an outside shower, which is probably this. What do we have here? This is probably the electronics. Yep. Here we have your sewer hose and uh, hitch receiver. You know, bug uh, curtain there. But I don't have a whole lot of information. I'm sure all that you can find online about batteries and uh, probably. I don't know if they, they have, I see solar on the roof, probably 200 watts. So, um, and even this early in the day, you know, every RV is, uh, I mean, it's popular, Pleasure Way hasn't been coming to the RV show in several years. 
uh, since the pandemic started. So. so here, let me show you this one from the back. You know, it's it's one of those things that uh, everything starts becoming a blur. I see this one has eco iron lithium batteries, and look at that how the bed comes down. It's very nice. Hi, I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get a selfie? So yeah, that's hello. That's uh, that's gonna be it for Pleasure Way. I think I showed you one of the one of each, and uh, kind of bummed out that the Plateau XLS is uh, is not here. That that was uh, like one of my favorite because it was one of the shorter B pluses that we had ever seen. So. That's it for Pleasure Way from the uh, Hershey, the 2021 Hershey RV Show. Let's go see something else. I'm free in my RV, yeah. 